The following is a Thorpe TV production brought to you in cooperation with Jack Thorpenson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pre-hard target show. This week we'll be shooting the Ruger 1022 Compact. Well, Jack, I see you left me a little grapefruit juice, and that's that's just what it is, Jack. Seriously, what this is the biggest glass I can have? I guess beggars shouldn't be choosers. Well, let's get this let's get this little show off to a little start. To the sunny slopes of long ago. That doesn't heat you up and cool you down all the same time. In the immortal words of John Wayne, it disappeared faster than a short beer. That was a short beer. This is the gun we're shooting this week at the hard target range. I call it the Ruger Ranch Gun, 1022 Ranch Gun. It's actually a Ruger 1022 Compact that I've redone the stock. It came with that birchwood, real light colored stock, and I stripped it and stained it and put the ranch brand on it along with uh, Running Pony, Vegas Painty. 1022 Long Rifle, and we're going to be shooting this week. This gun, along with the 15-round Ruger BX-15. And I really like these magazines because the 25-round the ones stick a long ways out. This one, a little more compact. Not so much blocking the clearance on the bottom, yet it's not like the 10-round flat ones, which are great magazines. The 10 round rotary magazines for this gun are absolutely fantastic, especially if you use the gun like I do quite often in the scabbard. Because it'll slide right in with a 10 round magazine in it. And, and it's still 10 rounds, plenty big enough. This one's 10 round magazine is basically that size right there that you're seeing. So for the extra five rounds, you got a lot of real estate taken up with it. That being said, it's a lot easier to take it out. The uh, flush fitting ones, you got to get your finger in there. A little, a little slower to get the magazine out of the firearm. This is kind of handy. And it gives you a little handle there. Kind of like this, the 15 round ones. And of course they were originally brought out with the pistol 1022. What is that called? A charger jack? I think that's the charger. At any rate, makes a handy little magazine for this firearm. We're shooting this gun this week because Jack has conned my wife into having a little competition with it at the hard target range. So my wife's going to be on the show this weekend. We'll be shooting this firearm at those beautiful AR-500 steel hard targets by hard target. And this firearm really has turned out to be an awful nice little gun. Once I got it cosmetically the way I wanted it, I was really happy with it. And and it's not all just looks too though, because the brand on the front gives you a little gripping, because there was no checkering on the stock. It was just the smooth, the base model Ruger. So that gives you a little gripping there on the forend. Kind of nice. It has the fiber optic sights, the red on the front, and, oops, there we go, the green horseshoe on the rear, which gives you a very nice sight picture. Very nice little gun, fun to shoot, and it's a handy little gun to have around. Again, like I say, you put the flush magazine in there, and I can slide it right in that same scabbard I used for the Mossberg Shockwave. Yeah. A little too big to use on the Bobcat, but works just fine on the, the golf cart and the tractor. So That's what we're shooting this weekend at the Hard Target Range. And I hope you tune in on Sunday morning to watch us. It airs at 4 o'clock Central Time. Well, there you go, Jack. Did I miss anything? You, you don't know because you were sleeping through it, weren't you? 
Yeah. Well, Jack's in charge of the competition this Sunday, so he's been working hard to get the range ready and all the little extras put put aside for it. So I guess I won't be too hard on him, at least not till the contest is over. Right, Jack? Did, did you see that little extra I left in your envelope this week, Jack? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Thanks for tuning in from Mr. Holster and Jack. Go out and stay safe. Serious, seriously, Jack. Seriously, I'm going to win this. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to win. And don't, don't think I don't have dirt on you. Oh, man, because I've got dirt on you. You know what I'm saying? Oops. <laughs>